Hi guys, Joel from RC Max UK here. I haven't been on film for a while. I've been, uh, I suppose, kind of too busy really to do much RC driving. I've filmed a lot of other people's cars, as, as you've seen if you've been looking at the channel recently, but I thought I'd do a very quick video for you just to give you an update on what's going on. So this is in my house. Um, just give you a little walk around, show you what's going on. So update, cars wise. Um, fifth scale wise, I finally met up with Stephen and uh, he's been really busy. He's bought a new house. He's bought a new car, which uh, I think we'll show you at some point too. It's a nice car. Um, the buggies, basically. I still have the buggies, so update on those. The Mugen MBX6s are on my wall. I haven't used them for a long time. Well, they're the nitros anyway. And that's the Eco up there. So I still got them. I still have them. I still intend to use them, basically. I, I think they're brilliant buggies, so you know, I have no intention of selling those anytime soon, to be, to be honest with you. Now this is, oh that's a, a mop bucket, <laughs> this is where I keep a lot of my RC stuff. Uh, the, that is the Lelosi 8 Truggy Eco, which uh, I've had another fiddle with, I've kind of set it up a bit nicer now. Motor servos are out, but I'm going to be putting them back in there. I did consider selling it, but it's a good, it's a good platform, I don't really want to sell it, so there you go. Um, I sold the Dragon Hammer. That is the Hyper ST. Hyper ST Pro down there, which you can't even see because it's so dark. There you go, Hyper ST Pro. Um, that one I have rebuilt as well after using the BMX track. If you check out the video of the BMX track, I snapped a shock in the end. So I've actually put some Mugen MBX6 shocks on the back, which, which are really nice actually. And I don't know if you can see that, but I've even polished up the shock towers. So it's looking a lot a lot nicer than it looked before. New fuel lines, uh, different exhaust, different pipe on there, and uh, new oil in the in the centre diff. Savox 1256 titanium gear under there for the steering, because the stock steering servo was rubbish. Uh, so that's that, basically. Hyper ST, so I've still got that. I have got some bits here. For my Losi 5T project, let's get rid of all these cloths. Uh, I've got some Fonzie, some Fon you can't see that, Fonzie RC, Fonzie's RC even. Um, engine spacers, engine, engine bolts, engine mounting bolts, so that might give you a little hint about one of the projects. And in here I've got uh, some turnbuckles from Joker Designs which I still need to fit to my 5T, I've had these for a while. And under there somewhere, you can't really see it. It's there, it is there. There's an FID throttle brace, uh, servo brace. So that's for the, the, the throttle servo, brake servo, up to the centre diff on my, my low C5T to, to strengthen all that up. So that's what's going in there. Uh, tools, bits and bobs. And of course this is where a lot of the filming, a lot of the editing takes place on the old iMac. And that's my... Sennheiser hand mic digital, look, there you go, which uh, I've been using for for the chat videos, so I think that works a lot better, so Sennheiser hand mic digital, very good, I'm pleased with it anyway. So, that's about the size of it in here, now let's go upstairs, up the old stairs, and uh, I don't know about you guys, I don't have a particularly good place to keep my RC stuff, so it kind of lives up there up there in the loft. So I'll take you up there. Uh, oh my god, what's happening in there? Computer games and stuff, so... Right, up into the loft. Now this is where a lot of stuff, a lot of junk. Everyone keeps junk in their loft, don't they? I definitely do. Quick show you of my the old biking days. Look, the old knee down action for the motorbike days. Dine suit hanging there, waiting to be used again one day, I hope. I've got no motorbike at the moment, of course. So, what have we got under there? Well, I'll show you that in a minute. This is new. This is new. I'll get out of the light. It's the Losi 5B. I got this instead of the, uh, the Dragon Hammer. I sold the Dragon Hammer and got this. Basically the same price, really, near enough. I'll do a video on this and show you this shortly. Under here, 
is my LOC 5T. Now, I've got a project starting on this. So that's the LOC 5T. I've still got the LOC 5T. I am going to be doing a little project on that. So that's the 5B. Load of tyres over there. Oh, Christmas. Um, over here, I've got a bicycle and I've got a Death Star over there. Lego Death Star. If anyone's into Lego, it's very cool. My son's really liked Lego a few years ago. <laughs> that is my RC Max UK wrapped body, of course. If you haven't seen that, I'm going to do some videos on, on, on my LOC 5T and I'm really pleased with this body. Joker Designs wrap. That's a custom wrap, so one of a kind. Very happy with that. The X Max. I still have the X Max. It's still, it's still here. It's in. It's been re. It's been cleaned up after Bashfest. I did smash the, the ring and pinion gears. No, I didn't. That's a lie. I smashed the spur, <laughs> and pinion gears. Uh, the standard gears. So I've gone to a plastic spur gear, and a non-traxxas pinion gear. So I'm going to be trying that. I haven't. I haven't used that since October. This, however, okay, under here, towels are a bit of a theme. I don't know if you can read that, it's upside down, that says Melosi. And under here, I'm going to show you this all a lot better soon. I'll do a bit of a video on this. Get the paperwork out of the way. And it's this, this beautiful piece of equipment here. It's quite stunning, I've got to say. It weighs a ton, actually. But, um... Yeah, this engine, which I will show you in a lot more detail, and we'll talk about this a bit. Stephen hasn't seen this yet. This is a ALX 71 Melosi engine, two-stroke engine, which you will get if you if you look on. Uh, I think it's alxengine.co.com. Sorry, I think you'll find these. I'll have to check, but um. Yeah, this is the, the project for the 5T basically, so I'll show you this in a bit more detail, we'll talk about this, but the idea is to be fitting this beautiful heavy engine, beautiful engine, look at that head, it's just incredible, it just, it just looks so good, you, you can't really, you know, you can't see it, you, you can't see it on camera, I think you've got to see it in the flesh really, to appreciate what this is like, but this is going to be going in my LOSI 5T instead of the uh, KM3, what is it, 30.5 engine. So that's going to go in there. So at the moment it's in its box and it's sitting there waiting to be used. But uh, of course I want to do some upgrades to the LOSI 5T for that, to fit that. So because it has to kind of handle that power, 71cc read billet read engine um i'm excited to to see it i'm excited to use it but i want to kind of try and get it right up to a point and i need to do some upgrades and of course that costs money so i'm going to take a bit of time over that but i'm going to talk about that i'll show you that soon talking to steven i have hooked up with steven again it's been a long time since he's been on the channel and uh he's got a couple of things to show off as well he's got some the new v2 extenders for his dragon hammer um, plus billet front case, I think, or the, the FID front case, diff case for that. So he's done a couple of upgrades, so we're going to run that and hopefully get a video out showing that and how these new extenders that are quite wide um, affect the handling. And from all reports that we've heard, they're really good and they, they make a big difference. So he's got that. And also, he's got a, another car that no one has seen yet. I've been helping over the past couple of months when we've had time, which has been few and far between, but when we've had time to get his LOSI 5T going. So he's also got a 5T. He's got a brand new Zenoa 320 going into it. Uh, he's got the high tech 845 servos and he's got the, what else has he got? The Bartolone exhaust. A nice setup, I suppose, for a LOSI 5T. Maybe we'll get a, a video or so of it running against my LOSI 5T with a 30.5 km to kind of show the difference maybe if, if we can get it running anytime soon um, and then of course hopefully we'll have a, a nicely set up small bore LOC 5T 
and my Losi 5T, which will be a big bore engine with this with this uh, ALX Melosi, and we'll get a kind of hopefully a bit of side by side footage, and you know have a bit of fun with a big bore and a normal a normal smaller sized engine, but a good setup. The Zenoa 320, from what I see, it's just a good, reliable, powerful engine really for a good price. So. As far as I've seen, it's a good setup for, for a Losi 5T, if that's what you're going to do. So that's about the size of it. That's the update. We're in my loft. It's a bit weird, isn't it, really, me taking you into the loft for, for this film. But, but there you go. Uh, a few bits to show you. Uh, hope you enjoy the video. And either way, I'll catch up with you soon, hopefully with some running footage and some other videos to show you. So all the best, guys. Catch you in the next one. See ya.